Okay, hi AP class. This is uh, Mr. Mellinger and I'm here to just give you a very quick once over on Canvas. Most of you have figured out figured it out including the uh, submit assignments. You maybe used it in some other classes. Most teachers use Google Classroom. Um, Canvas is actually the official management system for the San Diego City Schools and so I've chosen to use it. It's no harder to use than Google Classroom. It just looks different. So when you um, go into the uh, Canvas URL that you get every day in your email, it'll take you here to the home page, which is essentially the same as the modules page for me. I don't have a fancy home page. I don't see a point in it. Um, so it just takes you directly to where you want to go, which is to where assignments are. Up at the top is the um, Zoom meeting link. In case you forget that, you can just come into Canvas. Um, but you do get that every day in uh, your email. Down below are reference sheets. And these are the key reference sheets you're going to need. There's about 12 or 13 of them, I guess, maybe 14. I may be adding a few more, but that's most of them, the ones you're going to need throughout the course. If you got picked up a notebook, or if you ever do pick up a notebook, or if I ever get one to you, because time is kind of tight for me, um, they will have the reference sheets printed out inside. But um, if you want to come any Monday, Wednesday, or Friday between 4 and 5, I'm sitting in the parking lot at Hoover and... Uh, the more of you that come and pick up your binders there, uh, the fewer of you I have to run around and take to. So I'd appreciate that. You are going to need a way to keep, um, you know, to keep your papers organized um, for the AP. Okay, so we move past the reference sheets, and there you see Unit One Foundations, and those are the nine lessons we did. There's a little bit of slack time built into that. That was your study time for the test. So you'll see it day, every day has a number. I generally organize by days. Um, and then L stands for lesson. Not every day has a lesson, so the day number and the lesson number don't match up. And I always have the assigned date and the due date for that. Um, there's a few days, like 13 and 14, where no assignment was given. That's called a work day. And it should be a work day. It should be a time to go back and review older material, material you've already done. It should not be a no work day. You're not going to be able to afford a lot of those getting ready for the AP. It's a, it's a challenging test and you need to really work on those work days. So take advantage of those. Um, days 15, 17, 18, 19, which were the last three days of the fourth week, work days. So that was your time to review for the test for Unit 1, which will be on uh, Wednesday, September the 30th. All right, so that's it. Now we move into stoichiometry in the fifth week. There it is, day 20, 21, 22. And if you go in, to show you a typical assignment. Most of you have seen these. You go in here. And what you'll typically see when you go into a, an assignment is an instruction video, the assignment in the middle, and you can either download it as a, as a Word document or I imagine you can put it onto Google Drive and um, an image. And then down below you'll see the solutions video. I don't give you answers to every single question. If it's just a routine question answer that you can get out of the video, I don't give you the answers to those. Uh, but I will, if it's a, something that might be a little challenging or involve math, uh, I may show you some or all of those. So that's the uh, solutions video down there. You'll typically find those three things. Possibly there might be a um, another assignment to do as homework, a video or something, or one that we'll do in class. Now, to submit assignments, you see up at the top here, there's a big blue button that says submit assignment. That's the way I would like you to submit your assignments in the form of a picture of, of a photograph. So you click on that, and if you come down, it says choose file. There's a number of different ways you can submit, um, but choose file if you just wanted to submit a file image. Um, a picture, a photo, you can just click on it. It's just like attaching an email. Okay, so you can go ahead and that's easy enough to do. There is a way, and I believe a young lady last year in my class used text entry. And some of you may be familiar with this. Maybe you can teach me on this. And she was able to basically paste her photos into the text entry. So instead of having to upload, she had a five page assignment, instead of uploading a separate file for each page, which is what a lot of students were doing. So I'd have five files for a single assignment. She was able to just paste them in here um, and have them all in a sync in one file. I don't know if that's how she did it. Um, maybe if some of you are familiar with that or figure that one out, that would be great. I would like you to start um, submitting them this way, not through email, not through Google Drive. I really would prefer them this way. So that's uh, that's it.
So that's really it as far as using this. Um, submitting the assignments is not hard. If you have a problem, let me know. If you really are pu push comes to shove, you can submit it through some other method. It's just what this does is it lines them up for me so I can grade them very quickly. An email, I have to download it, I have to open it, I have to save it in a separate folder. It's a lot of different work. It goes into a separate place than all of these assignments. So while some of you have been doing a diligent job getting emails in, that's great. Um, I would say I prefer it through this, unless you just absolutely can't figure it out. And as you know, if push comes to shove, for the indefinite future, I'm going to be in the parking lot at Hoover. If you want to pick up a binder and the reference sheets, I'm there. I would kind of hope that you would all do that and a calculator kind of hope you'd all swing by and do that Monday Wednesday or Friday from 4 to 4 30 and uh, come by and see me and say hello and um, and I'll give you the calculator I have everything ready now and I didn't in the earlier as you some of you found out um, so please do that I appreciate it. otherwise I'm going to deliver it around to you sometime in the future whenever I can find the time that's it that's it for this uh, little canvas tutorial if you have questions you can ask me in class or um, office hours are going to change a little bit I have to for a variety of reasons but um, the next office hours will be today at 1 30 and you can you can uh, be in touch with me then okay see you in class